Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Tennant. Welcome to day one of VBS 2020, Rocky Railway, where together we will learn that Jesus' power pulls us through. Let's begin our day as we should begin every day with a prayer. Please fold your hands and close your eyes. Let's talk to God. Dear God, we thank you so much for taking care of us each day. We thank you also for the wonderful stories of the Bible. Please help us to learn these stories and to share your love. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Have fun, boys and girls. Good morning, I'm Mrs. Baker and welcome to day one of Little Kids Depot Vacation Bible School. It's our special place for our smaller friends. This is our friend Billy, and he'll be with us all week. Each day we also have a new buddy to teach us wonderful things about Jesus. Today our friend is Ramsey the Ram, and Ramsey tells us that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Now when I say trust Jesus, we're gonna do like a train engine. Woo woo! So, you ready? Trust Jesus. Woo woo. Now only are we going to learn about Jesus, but we're also going to learn about trains. Trains are very powerful, just like Jesus is very powerful. So get ready to chug along as we travel to Bible study and learn Ananias is helping Saul to enjoy what yummy snacks we have here. Maybe you'll have something different at your house as our choo-choo snack and to go to exploration station have fun with new activities and trains and to learn some terrific games with our games team have a great morning at little kid depot and don't forget trust jesus Woo -woo! welcome boys and girls to the bible portion of vbs and the B in the VBS stands for Bible, and that's what we get to share today, is a story from the Bible. And this is one of the best stories that we get to share because it's all about doing hard things. And right now, life is a little bit hard, but we get to share this story about how we can use Jesus' love to get us through it. So we're so excited for you to join us for this story today so that you can hear about how Jesus is able to help us. So Jesus' power helps us to do hard things. And when you hear that, I want you to say this, trust Jesus. And you're making it sound just like a train. Trust Jesus. So Jesus' power helps us to do hard things. And that's what we get to do is trust Jesus today as we share a story about a man named Ananias. Now, Ananias was part of a great time in the Bible where more and more people were learning about Jesus' love. And he came and he got to see the family grow in the church and get bigger and bigger. But he had a hard thing coming that he had to help with. And that was he had to help somebody that didn't love Jesus and that didn't know Jesus' love. Now, his name was Saul and he was pretty mean and he was very hurtful. So I want you to take a second and talk to your mom and your dad and your family about what it means to be mean and hurtful. What does it look like? Does it look like hurting a friend? Does it look like pushing or shoving? Does it look like leaving somebody out? What does being hurtful sound like? Calling people names? And what does it feel like when somebody's mean and hurtful? Do you get that yucky feeling in your tummy? Do you get sad? Well, Saul was all of those things. He was very mean and hurtful, and he really made it hard to love on him. And so Ananias had to go and help and love on Saul. So Jesus talked to Ananias. So I want you to put your hand right up to your ear, because we're going to listen. And Jesus said to Ananias, you need to help Saul. <gasps> you need to help Saul? Yes, Jesus said, Saul, I have a plan for his life. Ananias did not want to help somebody who was mean and hurtful, but he listened to God. He listened to Jesus and he did that. He listened and he was gonna go help Saul. So I want everybody to walk with me, okay? 
Get your arms up, get your feet up, and I want you to start walking. And that's what Ananias did. He walked, and then he knocked on the door of Judas's house, and he asked for Saul, and Saul came to the door. And he was so scared, and he was so nervous, because he didn't know what he didn't know what Saul was gonna do. He was really scared of him. But when Saul came to the door, he was happy. He was so happy, and he was filled with Jesus' love. And Paul said, I thought, I thought that you were angry and you were mean. And Saul said, No, let me tell you a story. Saul was walking one day and he saw a bright light. Now I'm talking brighter than a flashlight. I'm talking brighter than sunglasses. No, he saw, saw the light of heaven and it came down and it blinded him. So put your hands in front of your eyes. Pretend like you can't see. And that's what happened to Saul, he couldn't see. But he heard Jesus talk and Jesus said, when you hurt my friends, you're hurting me. And Saul did not want to hurt Jesus and he didn't want to hurt Jesus's friends anymore. So they brought him to the house and brought him into the city and he had to wait for somebody to come and help him. And guess who came to help him? Ananias came. And so Ananias came and knocked on the door and saw Saul and he said, I am going to pray for you. And when Saul prayed for An when Ananias prayed for Saul, he could see again and he was able to see and he knew that he was going to protect and help God's people. Now Saul used to be angry and he used to be unhappy and he used to be mean and hurtful, but he was a new person when he was filled with Jesus's love and he said he wanted a new name and he did. His name changed from Saul to Paul because he was going to go and be a new person when he had Jesus' love in his heart. Boys and girls, can you fold your hands with me? And I want you to pray. And you can repeat after me sitting at home with your family. You can pray along right with me. So close your eyes, fold your hands, and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you so much for bringing new life into Saul and creating a new friend in Paul. Thank you for Ananias and for letting him do hard things with Jesus' love. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls. Hello, welcome to VBS 2020, The Games. My name is Matthew and I am here today with some of my friends to show you guys how the games are going to work. Today is day one, and the game that we are going to be playing is Tug of War. Today, I will have my friends show you. On your mark, get set, go. No! <laughs> and with that, the boys have won. <laughs> now, can I have Juju and Emily please step up here? So, today, you guys have sadly taken the L, but, what we know and what we say around here a lot is Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. And with that, what was the hard thing today? Uh, Tugging the war. <laughs> Thank you, and we will see you tomorrow. Good morning and welcome to Exploration Station where you get to use your hands. I'm Miss Brittany, and today during your Bible story, you learned about two men named Ananias and Saul. And you learned that Jesus asked Ananias to do a hard job, and that was to go help Saul. And sometimes Jesus asks us to do hard things, but he gives us power to help us do those hard things. Trust Jesus. So in Exploration Station, we get to do different types of activities. So we learn a lot about trains this week. So you can see here, I built a train track going up the mountain. And you can build one at home too. And you may not have a train track just like mine, but you could use cars or anything you have at home to kind of make your own and have a lot of fun. So you build your track going up a mountain, and then you can have your trains climb that mountain. 
And the truth is sometimes it's hard for trains to get all the way up the top of the track. So sometimes they need help. So I have my two trains to help carry the load. So I'm gonna trick my one and attach it and choo choo. There they go, up the track. The other fun activity we have in Exploration Station today is we're gonna build our own train. So you can see over here, I have my own train set up and you can set one up at home too with your chairs or your table or all kinds of fun things. And then you can sit in your train, be the conductor, you can drive your train, choo choo. You can also help make the train go. So you can see here, I created some coal. You may have blocks at home or you could make your own coal. And you see, I have my shovel and we're gonna shovel the coal because the coal is what makes the train go. So I'll make sure I get all my coal into my train and then we're ready to go. So I'm gonna get my train moving. Chugga chugga choo choo. Thanks so much for coming to Exploration Station. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Virtual Vacation Bible School 2020. Let's kick this thing off with a Vacation Bible School favorite, Big Big House.
this journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. boys and girls. Now you try it. Now remember, there's no sitting at VBS, so stand up. Let's do it again. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all. You're all that we need, your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. We're off on this journey, there's no looking back With Jesus to lead us, we're on the right track Oh, 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 Wide open spaces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh. Friends, we are so glad that you came this morning to spend the morning with us. Let's close with a word of prayer. Calm your hearts, your hands, your mind. Dear God, thank you so much for all the wonderful blessings you've given us. And thank you for Jesus' power helping me to do the hard things. Help us stay at home and be safe 
And please be with us so that we can have some fun tomorrow at VBS. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen.